With metabolic alkalosis, we have a pH that is greater than 7.45 and a bicarb that is greater than 28. Causes of metabolic alkalosis include an anacid overdose as well as loss of body acids through things such as vomiting or NG tube suctioning. Treatment includes addressing the underlying cause, such as giving antiemetics to a patient who may be vomiting, as well as the administration of fluids and electrolytes. Metabolic acidosis is where we have a pH that is less than 7.35 and a bicarb that is less than 21. Causes of metabolic acidosis include DKA, that's the big one, as well as kidney failure and diarrhea. So it's really important to remember that DKA, metabolic acidosis, and hyperkalemia usually go together. Symptoms of metabolic acidosis include hypotension, tachycardia, weak pulses, Kuzma respirations, dysrhythmias, as well as warm, flushed skin. Treatment of metabolic acidosis includes the administration of IV fluids and insulin for DKA, sodium bicarbonate, as well as hemodialysis for kidney failure.